videos back you may remember the book haul I did and this this video is just going to go over a couple of books I have just recently finished reading my impressions on them and some books I'm currently reading <clears throat> I had just finished reading Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson um, if you don't know who he is he's a classic author and he had written the Treasure Island as well as that book. Um, I wasn't too overly impressed with the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The language was okay. Um, it is. It was written in the late 1800s, and <clears throat> I found the story to be rather bland. Like um, it just kind of droned on and on, and it was a pretty short story. It was a novella or whatever, but it just seemed to drone on and on and on, and it just wasn't up to par. Like I've seen. Like, the BBC Hyde show was much better, and I've seen movies that interpreted the book that were more entertaining. The book was just, uh, it was okay. Um, the whole impression I got when I was reading it was that, like, Dr. Jekyll was like a crackhead, you know, like, like he was on bath salts or something. It was just not what I was, I was thinking more, like, you know, Bruce Banner, the Hulk, you know. <laughs> totally was not like that, but it was a classic story, so I'm kind of glad I read it. I may have even read it when I was a teenager and just forgot about it. I also just finished reading Vampire Zero by David Wellington. This was an awesome book. I believe it is the third book in the Laura Caxton series, and I have mentioned this series before in my squidoo about David Wellington and also in a video about vampires that don't sparkle which is on my main channel um, that's on the sidebar if you want to click and try to find it because um, I did do booktubing videos over on that channel before I started this one. In Vampire Zero, Laura Caxton has to battle her former teacher turned vampire. It was epic beyond epic. It was a great story. Um, it definitely had me interested and I couldn't wait to finish that book. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be before I read the fourth book, but I do have quite a few books, so I'm probably not going to get to it right away, but I do plan on completing that series. But it was a very, very good book, and all three books that I've read in that series so far were excellent. Um, I liked them even more so than his Monster Trilogy, which the Monster Trilogy was about zombies. Um, I would have to say that his Vampire series was it, overall his best. He does have some werewolf books. I think there's two, maybe three of them, but I have yet had the chance to read those. They're his newest, latest books. Um, also, Something I've been meaning to read on his website, and I can leave a link down below so you can check it out. Um, he has a ebook that he had produced in chapters, and he released each chapter. Those are the books I just finished reading. Um, I am currently reading the fourth book in the Uglies series called Extras. Um, I'm glad that I continued reading the rest of that series because I was so disappointed by by pretties and specials. The extras is, is very, very good. Um, it takes place after the Mind Rain events of specials, and people are no longer, like, they're not, like, brainwashed into having the plastic surgery. It's your choice, and it's a very different world, and the setting is in Japan. And the extras, pretty much, the world is kind of like, you. Do, the way you get money is based on your your rank in the internet, the interwebs, so like if you're really popular and people talk about you and people look at your page, your feed or whatever, you get more money and the most popular person in the world is Tally Youngblood and etc. But it is very, very intense once you get into the story because the main character, Aya Fuse, she tries to get involved with this super secret clique and discovers what they were doing and then it just gets even more in depth in there. I don't want to give away too much. It's a very intense story and um, right now I'm kind of halfway in the middle of the book but it's very very starting to get very good now. I would highly recommend it. Definitely. It was way better than even Uglies. Let's just say that. Really cool cover. Um, I think this is the newest edition 
it's just really, really cool. I got this from my local library, too. I'm sure pretty much you could find this at your local library. Not only am I reading extras, I'm also reading Zodiac Unmasked by um, Robert Graysmith. This is supposed to be a sequel book. Um, he origin The other book he wrote was just called Zodiac, and this one's supposed to be a little more in-depth about how he suspects this one guy to have been the Zodiac killer. Um, if you haven't seen the movie, and if you didn't really know, Zodiac was this, like, unsolved case. It was sort of like Jack the Ripper. It's another true crime novel. Um, this one's not as good as the last true crime novel I read called Portrait of a Killer. Um, this one, the guy who writes it kind of funny. It's kind of writ like a f written like a fiction book, which has kind of put me off. Um, I like my true crime books to be a little more straight facts and very thorough, but this one just kind of like, it's kind of stuff like a diary almost, and, but like a fictional diary, even though it's based on true events. It's kind of weird. Um, it is a very, very lengthy book. And I don't know, I mean, I may complete reading it, I hope, you know, I'm going to try my best. It didn't get a very good rating on Goodreads, let's just say that, because a lot of it's rehashed material from the first book, and I didn't read the first one, I just kind of ended up with this one. Funny story how I got up books at my local library, and I had seen that somebody else had reserved this book, and I saw it just sitting there, and I'm like, hey, that looks like an interesting book, and I kind of... You know, after coming back so many times, and I saw it was there for like a full month at my library, the person that requested it never came to pick it up. So I eventually said to the librarian, I just kind of was half joking, and I says, hey, that looks like an interesting book. If they don't want it, I'll take it home. So one day I went in to pick up the extras, and they says, hey, by the way, do you want to take out this book too? Because the person has not responded, they haven't come in to pick it up, and it's still sitting here, and it could be yours if you want to bring it home. So I said, sure, why not, and I brought it home, and I'm currently reading it. So it was an unexpected, un, you know, it wasn't a read that I was planning on reading, but I definitely was on my to-read list, and I figured, why not just read it now? That's all I got for you guys. Um, it has been crazy, crazy lately. Um... Uh, you see the Christmas tree behind me. It's just after Thanksgiving, visiting with family and all, and it snowed here, and I hate snow. I really hate snow. It's been cold and all that, but I don't know when my next video will be. Um, I haven't really been buying too many books because I have such a huge stack of books to read. Um, I did pick up um, a book the other day. But it's kind of, I might just save it for when I get more books to add it to a book haul video for that. And plus it's a different kind of book that you wouldn't expect from me. So you'll just have to wait and see. That's all I got. I hope you liked the video. And if you've made it this far into the video, thanks for watching. And subscribe if you have not already. Tell your friends if you liked it. And peace. Swallow this.